The Northrop YF-17 was developed as a prototype lightweight fighter for the U.S. Air Force's Lightweight Technology Evaluation Program. The program was initiated because many in the fighter community believed that fighters, like the F-15 Eagle, was too large and expensive for many combat roles. In early 1965, Northrop ran the internal Project N-300, which was derived from the F-5E. The N-300 developed into the P-530 Cobra, which in some ways were similar to the F-5. The lightweight fighter program was initiated in 1971. The Northrop P-530 was intended as a multi-role fighter, and for the program it was modified to the P-600. The P-600 was designated the YF-17, and was intended as an air-to-air -air demonstrator. The YF-17 used two General Electric YJ-101 engines. The YJ-101 was a development of the GE-15 engine, and the development had consumed over a million man-hours. The YF-17 was primarily constructed in aluminium, but used about 900 pounds graphite epoxy composite. It had a simple ranging radar, and in the rear it had twin all-moving stabilators, and twin vertical stabilizers. The aircraft had a partial fly-by-wire system. The first Northrop YF-17 prototype flew for the first time April 4, 1974. The second, and last YF-17 first flew August 21 the same year. The two prototypes made 288 test flights, and reached a maximum speed of Mach 1.95, and had a peak load factor of 9.4 g. In August 1974, the U.S. Air Force selected the General Dynamics YF-16 as the lightweight fighter winner, and the Northrop YF-17 was never put into production. However, the U.S. Navy used the design and principles of the YF-17 as the base for their new lightweight strike fighter. The design was developed by McDonnell Douglas into the F-18 Hornet. The F-18 Hornet was extensively modified from the original design.